welcome back everyone today we are just going to see a side note just a quick side note on what all in one hub is doing for the entire community and when and then we will go on to another course review so everyone has been there when you start a course you do it with all your heart till you do it all your might and then you slack off you then you will come up with the excuse of going one day i can do it and then another day yeah i'll push it off and i'll take a day off and then i'll come back again so then this becomes a habit right so what all in one hub has come up with is is to account you for that is 101 day challenge which you can see i'll put this on linkedin more on that later so just go into a course review today again so what's it up people i am sundaram and i am from all in one hub and today we are going to look into another course review which is sql structured query language from ibm this is the basic fundamental course i know you guys might be saying why sundaram is always saying fundamentals fundamentals basics basics right so if you want to learn something you have to have the foundations cleared out if you don't have that thing cleared out my guess is if you might learn every advanced trick in the book but if you don't know the fundamentals and and the as uh, every small aspect of it you don't get to enjoy and use it completely so yeah as i can i am moving forward with this this is today's course review and you can see that it is uh, based on structured query language and relational databases okay so the this course is about general object uh, we will go into the course general objective learning objectives and the trading scheme certificates and all and the most important thing which every one of us at least for me from my personal experience which i did was i was always confused about joins okay in structured query language i was always confused about joins inner joint outer joint i was pretty good with full joins that that was good but the other part the most difficult one was this inner joint and left outer joint right, right outer joint when to use them okay we will get that into it because i loved it i watched it i loved it so what is the learning objective of this course well as you can see just based on the concepts and the relational constraints which i can see is the major part of the learning concept just mm-hmm. all things which you can understand it by yourself that is good but this thing is very good the concept and the constraint they they provide you in a concise way in a short time interval but they provide it in, in a very good manner that is what i can say okay and the syllabus okay the syllabus is introduction to relational databases constraints model constraints and data objects data definition language data manipulation languages and the rest of the two modules my personal favorite one is this one okay so i would definitely go into that but more on that later okay so we will go into the exam instructions later but first we will look into how is the course structure what i mean by course structure is whether it is a reading material or whether it is a videographic material or what you have to do exactly to complete this course and as you can see there is only video content no reading content over here no reading contents are present and you will be given an assignment okay there will be assignment which you have to complete there will be labs which you have to complete okay and there will be a quiz after every module the minimum criteria for completing every quiz is 50% and for final exam it is 70% we will look into that into in a detailed structure later on but first let's cover on the different modules over here the learning as everyone knows that video a picture is worth 1000 words right so if you can understand it from a picture you can understand it from anything so let's just play anything what do you say creating a table right the most important part creating a table how to tell, tell you to create a table let's watch that two different categories data definition language statements data manipulation the 
going to be a key of a relational table that uniquely identifies a to do and its attribute. Oh, so they provide you with multiple things and they also show you exactly, you know, guys, which you are, what you are seeing right now is exactly how you create a SQL query. Okay, this is how you create an SQL table when you want to enter a data and store it in the SQL format. So they teach you this in a very specific and concise manner and there are transcripts over here you can just move on over different parts of the video by just click on the transcript and if you don't understand a particular part you just click on it and the video will go back over here and there are some media controls and subtitles are also available the most important thing is you can download the video file and the transcripts as well as usual from IBM it is that you can bookmark this page and you can view it in different uh, discussion forums as well okay so they have also given you primary key different types of keys which they will they are teaching you over here overall this is a pretty cool the main attraction of this course which we are now heading into is the uh, joints okay I, I loved it because I was pretty weak on joints when I was uh, when I was learning it but yeah I loved it over here they, they give you a uh, overall understanding of how the, how the joints work and why you should be using joints first of all we all know joints you have to be using it but no one i guess at least until now until i watched this video no i didn't understand what inner joint was okay so exactly why you should be using inner joints uh, joints in the first place everything has been taught over here okay they have explained you the simplified library database model okay they, they have taken an example over that doesn't mean that they have simplified it but yeah it is an example okay they use a table map and they try to explain it in a, a simple format okay and as you can see they have spoken in quite a plain english manner yeah. and as you all can understand by this point if you uh, that sql is a plain english format language it doesn't have to be like python or any java programming language or any other programming php ruby anything that you have to sit and code in in a language which only the complete braces and coding languages and stuff it's a completely plain language as you can see select statement from inner joint this is the exact query from this is the exact query how you write you know for an inner joint okay and they also go into pretty much good stuff on how you can use it in day to day life and i love it and there are some media controls as well okay see as, as i said it is split as plain as an english language select borrower from inner joint okay they yeah, have also given you i guess i have seen it right the next level of complex table from the results the next level of complexity is retrieving data from two or more tables this is referred to shift between certain columns the most common type of joint results from two tables are displayed as only the result set that matches the criteria specified in the query they have taught you exactly how the inner query, inner joint works. The, the, red, the red circle is the one which is going to be displayed. Overall, what I can say about this course, if you are, if you are doing this course, if you are doing this course, you will be getting the every trick, basic copy book style of SQL, which you can use it and use it in advanced manner as well. Okay advanced dml languages are also taught over here which you can go through okay the final exam okay the final exam. there is a course summary too that is a there is a course summary too. you can definitely check it out okay the final exam instructions i've just loaded up the instructions i will tell you that okay the exam is worth 50 percent of your grade the time is one hour you get to attempt one attempt for two or four and two attempts for the question other than two or four final check okay and so on and so forth okay i yeah, like i said 50 percent of the criteria is for your grade entire grade and once you complete the course you will be getting this certificate this one exactly like this with a qr code you can scan it and use it in anywhere on 
your CV, LinkedIn profile, and anywhere as well. Okay. So I guess at the end of the day, if you are trying to learn SQL, IBM is the go-to place where you can use it. And the most important part, apart from that, is that you can learn the basic which you can use it for big data. Big data, big data. Yeah. Review is coming up soon. Be sure to check that out and be sure to subscribe to our channel for for more videos on course review. And you can definitely get more links to courses, free courses with certificate on cloud, technical blogs, uh, and many more such as blockchain, which is a current trend. And anything that you want to learn for free can be available. Be sure to join uh, join our Telegram channel. The link is in the uh, below the first like button. But a link is in below the first like button. Be sure to check out and do like or do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to know more. As you all, as we keep technical course review we, reviews as well as platform reviews and many more reviews which are non technical as well. As you can see, grow with Google. This is a business course which you can do, and this is a Figma uh, for platform review, Google Podcast. Yeah, Spotify review. How you can use for Spotify to improve yourself and many more as well. So be sure to subscribe to our channel to know more about it. Team building, anything that is available for free and if you want to learn on it and you want to know is it worth your time, be sure to subscribe to our channel to know whether it is worth your time, your time or not. Okay. So think about what I was saying in the starting part of the video. What is one zero one day challenge? So here you are given simple tasks such as reading a blog, watching a video on a day-to-day -day basis, and it is it is it is present on LinkedIn. You can just Google all in one hub and join our LinkedIn page, and you will be given day-to-day -day tasks on one day one day small task. Yeah, as you can see over here, a small task per day, a small task say, such as day two. Okay, personal ticket. You just have to read the blog, and just after reading the blog, what you have to do is you have to be a, have a screenshot, post it on LinkedIn, and then tag yourself. See, as you can see, you just have to tag All in One Up as well as yourself, and get a spot on All in One Up Hall of Fame. So, what is All in One Up Hall of Fame? It is a place where you get to show your work, what you have done in 101 days. So, this is a quite good challenge. Do you have the guts to challenge yourself every day? That's the main question after this. So if you have it, if you have the enthusiasm, you have the excitement to, to learn one new thing every single day, then definitely join our following one up LinkedIn channel. So that is a good place to start your career journey. This small incremental development every day can make your life and your career goals much more smooth. So be sure to join our following one up channel. So that's it folks, I guess this is what you can do for your career journey today. After listening to this video, after watching this video, just go on all in one hub, LinkedIn page, join our join our page and you can definitely get new updates for your career. So that's it folks, see you around.